Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and lovely audience. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, as you all know that I'm here as a member at Toastmasters and beyond that, that I work as a public relations consultant. But today, I want you all to meet a new Sonica through her experiences and events of life. To begin with, I was born on 9th November 1993, and yes, I'm 24 years old. I was born in a small district of Bihar, and that marked as the most happiest day of my parents' life. Because a baby girl was born, and that actually fulfilled the demographic representation of an Indian family. Because I have an elder brother. To him, I was like a guinea pig on whom he could, he could experiment everything and be super happy. Call me Pokemon, put anything on me and be like chill out and super happy. Well, I was okay with it. I, did not, I do not remember anything now. But I have faint memories of her childhood. So when my parents used to be back from school from PTM, a usual Saturday in everyone's school, so they used to tell me one, uh, two things. It's only your, te your teacher said that you're very intelligent and the other thing that you talk a lot. Ignoring the second part because which is common to females where parents were really happy she could be the next engineer and that was done. So uh, in school also as luck would have it and by God's grace I was really intelligent and I was like two days always sitting in the first first bench, first row, yeah yes ma'am always it was very usual for me. But then I had a plan. I wanted to be famous. I don't know why. I don't know why. What qualifications I had. So I wanted myself to be involved in everything. And possibly that possibly I could do. So I started playing table tennis and I played it for extensively seven years and represented my school in districts. In 2009 we won gold and I was being the captain and that was the biggest achievement if I could quote till date. Parallelly I thought one more thing that, that I should do and I should run in three parallel tracks and that is how I was being the best ROI for my parents return of an investment. And my brother used to be like, you were, picking, uh, you were picked up from garbage, okay? I don't like it. <laughs> and I feel they'd say that he had more funny days and more good days in school. And we, started, we both started in the same school. So as you know how it goes with the elder brother and the sister. Well, adding a twist to it. I got my first scholarship in grade 10. And I was really happy. There was no looking back. Future engineer was like somewhere in the middle. But... And I hope nothing happened. I happened to watch Three Idiots and I also watched Wake Up Sit. So I thought maybe I was being Konkana, which I thought I was maybe somewhere because I, I had deep interest in creative writing. So most of my school life I designed uh, all the templates and school magazines and both not and posters. So those, those both had my words and I, and I really used to feel happy for it. I never wanted my creative side to be, you know, to be suppressed because of science, I felt that neither zinc could save my life from corrosion, neither laws of motion could accelerate my life. So I'll never, never, ever, you know, make it uh, as a priority. But still, I remember one thing: my commitment, what I wanted to do in life. So, you know, uh, in school, I I always try to make balance between uh, between um, among all three things. That was the biggest learning how one could actually, you know, give adequate time to each activity, learn and thrive in life. Never forget, never forget that whatever you're good at, try and practice it for the maximum time. Do it. Because when you leave it halfway, somewhere you feel low, I was good at it. Maybe because of one reason or the other reason I left it. You have the power, you have the power. Time is in your hand. Then, I think, I think I changed a lot when I took a year drop after 12th because I be this naive girl become a rebel. I started questioning the Indian education system. I mean, what was I studying? What, what am I doing? I didn't like, uh, you know, uh, pipet pipetting out those chemicals in the lab when you can just go and check out, okay, this is calcium carbonate. You know it, you can smell it. But all that one and a half process irritated me. I don't know why. But again, my idea came. One night I was reading this book, Laws of, Laws of the Spirit World. An idea came in my mind. It's really funny. Sonika, what if one day you become famous and somebody comes up to you and they want to document you? What will you tell them what you were doing when you were young? So I started writing diary entries and it's been five years that I'm writing it. And it's so good to have talked about all my love, all my fears, what I wanted to do in life, 
who were the people who came in my life, who stayed, because of whom I've learned a lot. And actually, in the next meeting, I'll get to show you, though I don't show it to everyone, but I have it. <laughs> because I, I don't know, I might be famous, so that if people want to make a documentary, they have something. <laughs> I then, I, then when I entered college, I had this thing in my mind. I'm like a blank sheet of paper who wants to color her life with beautiful memories of achieving everything without losing confidence and without wasting a day's time. Again, in college, I went on to secure a, uh, I went on to secure scholarship for three academic years. I again played table tennis and joined. I mean, I joined the team and played table tennis and won gold. I did a radio show <coughs> with my college and I was done. So the biggest takeaway from my life, I'll tell you, wear an extra coat of confidence and an ounce of self love. Okay, uh, it's not always about earning money. It's about earning people and patience. And Practice, uh, and practice and then preach. Thank you so much. I'm signing off. <laughs>